What's up, guys? How's it going? Zotaev here, aka John. I have some massive things going on right now for Monsters Clan. We did speak about it in our last few videos, but I really think there's going to be a massive pump coming very soon, and that is just because they are coming out with their game in the next couple of days. But before I go ahead and get started, I do want to go ahead and say that I am not a financial advisor. Anything I do say or talk about in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only and is not financial advice, right? Always make sure to do your own research and only invest in what you're willing to uh, lose. This is a very scary market and very unpredictable and it doesn't go always our way as planned, right? So let's go ahead and move over to the TA. But before I go ahead and do that, I do wanna go ahead and say they have about 8,000 um, holders right now. They have about a uh, total liquidity of about 800,000. I mean, it's not even a million, which is uh, pretty ridiculous with what's going on. I really think this project is going to move very soon. And I think we should be picking up these numbers as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and dig onto some TA because there is some work that I do see that could possibly be, you know, popping off in the next couple of days, depending on where you, when you guys see this video, keep the, keep this in mind. I am recording this video on December 12th of 2021. So um, hopefully I can go ahead and have this video uh, possibly before the launch. The launch of the game is going to be on the 15th. But uh, let's go ahead and go over the TA. Do you, we do go ahead and see that there is some strong support around this area right here where I, you know, did this purple square down in the bottom, which is around about like 80 to 70 cents. We did a, get a semi confirmation. I wouldn't say a full on confirmation that it is going to be hitting uptrend very soon, as you can tell right here. And it does look really kind of scary, this the chart as well, right? There's been a lot of, uh, you know, pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps, pumps, dumps. But I really think that's going to be ending very soon. And I'm not saying the pump and dumps are going to be ending completely. I'm just, th I'm just saying that I really think there's going to be a huge, massive upside that we're going to be able to go ahead and, and you know, take advantage of that massive gain. Um, I really think this project could go ahead and moon very soon. I'm not too positive on that, but I think we will. And I'll go ahead and show you the reasons why with the TA and with the project, right? So I think right now would be a very good buying opportunity, not financial advice, like I said. But if you guys want to go ahead and jump in, a good confirmation that you guys are getting in at a good entry point or, you know, a good entry point is always buying in the red, right? And it did dump and it's crazy. It's, it's dumping before the day of the release. Makes no sense. I call that manipulation. But if you want to go ahead and get a good confirmation that it's going to go ahead and continue to uptrend, you definitely want to go ahead and see a break above this area right here, which is going to be above the dollar and 22 cents area. If you want to go ahead and full, get a full on confirmation, which I really think this is going to hit it pretty it already hit its bottom with consolidation and with the facts of the catalyst of the game releasing very soon which i think it's you know massive news and as soon as in the next couple of days right so i really think this project you could easily see it go up to like 10 20 dollars and right here would be a good buying opportunity but if you want to get a full-on confirmation you know buying above a dollar 22 will be that we are now entering an uptrend bull trend pattern okay guys so let's go ahead and head over to the four hourly chart let's see what we have there and as you can tell like i said you know we have the strong support down right here in the bottom this is this will be the the, the point of resistance as you can tell it's been resistance in the previous past and it has dumped, pumped, and dumped. And I really think this is going to pump right here really soon. As you can tell, this is in the four hourly chart. Let's see what hours we can see. Maybe the weekly. Okay, weekly, not too much information. So let's go ahead and try one more chart, which will be the three day chart. The three day chart is looking pretty good, undecisive, but I think it's because of the, of the news with the game coming out, all right? So let's go ahead and head over to the Twitter. We're on the Twitter right now. You know, they have launched on Game 5, um, Gate.io. They were having some withdrawal issues. They said they've already solved that. Uh, and as well, you can go ahead and now add your Monsters Clan NFTs and MetaMask, which is really cool. Um, they, are, they already sold out on all their NFTs. I don't know when the secondary market is going to be going on that, but it's going to be very massive. 
and I really see a lot of potential in this project as well. If you guys don't remember, we did mention that this project is going to be a play to earn, all right? So let's go ahead and look into a little bit into the game. Their site is going to be on Monsters Climb. We did go over it. There's not really much to go over uh, besides the fact that we are going to be launching on December 15th, and I am recording this video on December 12th. So I really think there's going to be a massive pump, and hopefully I'm right on that end but um everything's look like it's coming into our favor right and if bitcoin could go ahead and continue to go up i think it's definitely going to go ahead and help us but i do want to go ahead and pull out this um this gameplay of the monsters clan nft so let's go ahead and take down the volume because we do not want to get copyrighted issues but check that out it kind of reminds me of a clash of clans kind of set up the graphics are looking really good i mean it is more of like a uh RPG, you know, third person type of game. Looks like one of those games where you kind of have to strategize and make sure your monsters are leveled up in order to go ahead and, you know, attack, um, you know, opposite teams or whatever the case is. I I'm assuming it's going to be more like a Monsters Clan. This game is going to be available in iOS, on Apple Store, and on the Google Store as well, and for your computer. But look at those graphics. Those graphics are sick. Obviously, they're not you no know, Call of Duty graphics, but they are, you know, their own animated uh, graphics. As you can tell, like I said, it's going to be barely, uh, it's going to be available on Windows as well. Can't seem to exit this. Okay, there you go. Let's see if we can find more videos. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. We have not really seen any, we really haven't seen any you know, marketing going on. I know they were working with BitBoy. He did talk about it, which is one of the reasons why our team, you know, looked into it. And, you know, we haven't really heard anything from anybody really talking about this, about this project, but that's what we want to do. We want to get in projects before people know about. Just keep that in mind. You always want to be the, you don't always want to be the first. I would say you always want to be in between where you're not too early or not too late but in between because that's how you go ahead and capitalize on massive gains right guys but i just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video i will be doing a quick touch up on the video back on once the release happens and let's go ahead and see what uh what are what happened with our ta and if you know it moved or not but uh before i go ahead and move forward and end the video i do want to touch bases a little bit on btc so let's go ahead and head over to the 15 minute chart so right now in the 15 minute chart is looking pretty good. I would say we definitely want to go ahead and break above 49,000 and hold above that. I would really like that. That would look really good for our end. Um, we did actually break that previously and it looks like now we're setting up higher highs, higher lows on the 15, 15 minute. The, uh, the one hourly chart, it looks like it was going to go up and break above 49,000, but now it just kind of dumped. Let's go ahead and see how tomorrow it opens. But, um, Let's go ahead and check out the four hourly right here. The four hourly, you know, consolidation did break above that little purple line. But to go ahead and get a full confirmation that we are in an uptrend, I would definitely want to go ahead and see it stay above $49,000 and breaking above $55,000. Breaking above $55,000 would definitely mean that, uh, that we are entering back into the bull run or bull market, whatever you want to call it. I never thought the bull market was over, but... That's the way people are putting it, right? But I would definitely say you want to go ahead and see it hold above this this uh, this forty nine thousand dollars if it can, and just hold above it. Let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, daily chart. So, like I said, strong resistance around the fifty thousand area, which is not looking too well, but it's also not looking too bad. So, we definitely do want to go ahead and hold it. I think there's a possibility where we are going to go ahead and break that. Let's go ahead and switch over to the hourly. I'm sorry, the weekly. The weekly obviously still hasn't finished, but we did see that doji candle right here, which is usually a sign of a reversal. Means that, okay, uh, bears is over. Let's go ahead and start pumping it back up to go to the greens. But if you guys go ahead and zoom out, you know, when in doubt, zoom out, right? And always make sure that your friend, your trend is your friend, right? And as you guys can go ahead and tell, we did end up breaking about. 64,000 back in April 2021, it dumped, and then we ended up making new all time highs to $69,000, and then it dumped as well. It does seem like strong support is around the 47,000 mark, and so far has been holding above that. Uh, this is totally normal. I don't know why people are overreacting and freaking out. 
but Bitcoin's looking totally normal. You know, um, the reason why people, and actually I do know, I know why I kind of answered my own question. I know why people are freaking out because, you know, plan B mentioned that Bitcoin was going to go ahead and go over 90,000 by the end of November. And surprisingly it didn't happen. Not surprised because, you know, people got too greedy and went full throttle with, you know, liquid with margin trading. And then, you know, Margin trading, what else was I going to say? They got uh, they got calls where they had to go ahead and get margin, margin calls where they had to go ahead and liquidate their positions or they got liquidated out of their positions plus stop, lo stop losses and massive manipulation. And usually these big candles kind of give you an indicator of manipulation. And then it just so happened that uh, Bitmark, I believe, got hacked too. Like, what are the coincidences? Massive dump gets hacked and all these you know, sequences happen. Like there's no coincidence to any of this. You know, the Fed was supposed to go ahead and talk about, you know, the Bitcoin ETF. That never happened. They pushed it back to January. And it looks like the bull run's gonna be, you know, getting pushed back a few couple months. People are saying even maybe five or six more months. It would not surprise me. Inflation is gonna hit us very hard. And just go ahead and make sure you guys are investing in appreciating assets. And that is one of the reasons why I'm super bullish in Bitcoin and I really think it's gonna continue to pump. The Fed is not done with their game and they're going to go ahead and continue to pump the stock market and the crypto market. Mark my words, I really think we're doing really good. And I just want to thank everybody before I end this video that I am grateful. We're very grateful that you guys have been showing a lot of support, liking, commenting. Uh, make sure to go ahead and comment down below. We do go ahead and respond back. Go ahead and make sure to comment. Um, I already said comment. Go ahead and make sure to click down in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and join our Discord channel with DAC, uh, one of our partners, where you guys can go ahead and, you know, get a little bit more inside information. We can communicate, you know, build our community. That's what we're working on is building a community. But because with the community, we could all succeed together. Um, that's how we're, we're able to go ahead and, you know, help each other out. But as well, in that Discord channel, we do go ahead and talk about the NFT projects that we're, we're partnering with and working with. So just go ahead and make sure you guys join. And you guys are going to go ahead and see that that uh, that NFT that we're partnering with on Deshaun Jackson with DAC LLC at the end of the video. But I just want to say that I'm grateful for all of you guys. And go ahead and continue to you know show support and share. Till later.